Yes. Larry O'Brien on 90. Uh, consider um, uh, calling uh, Dick Daly to give him a little thank you on this. I sure will, and I I doubt the wisdom of having all these damn textile rake-offs in here for this signing. I didn't know about that. Well, Jim Eastland proposed we have Cannon Mail textile, yeah. and I told him to let you and Secretary of Agriculture decide it. All right. And if I were you, I'd just tell them that it looked like a rake off of textiles, and I'd get every goddamn one Gallus farmer I could. I'd get old D.W. Brooks from Georgia, mm -hmm. make North Carolina senators and Mississippi senators, yeah. and South Carolina senators, and make them bring a whole bunch of horny handed sons of toil in here uh, for the picture Saturday. And I'd get to work on it, get Freeman to work on it, tell him he's got one goddamn dirty tobacco chewing farmer. As far as this bill, get him in here. I don't think he has. I think they're all towel manufacturers. Yeah, I think. <laughs> but just tell him that in that kind of language. Can you Irish talk that kind of language? Or... I've tried it a couple of times. I think I can do it. All right. Well, now you, I don't want you to try it on me. <laughs> On, uh, on Freeman, because we, right. we blessed for him. Okay. I don't want to bleed for him anymore. I'll call Dick Daly in the morning or the first moment I get. So All right. Very good. All right, now you get that ceremony and let's stack them in. All right. All right. I will, Mr. President. You call Freeman right away. I will. Now, uh, Adam Clayton Powell, what's that payoff? You got him on 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, he, his, uh, he didn't tell me any of the specifics. He just wants conversation, but I'm going to try and put together all the things that he's interested in. You just feed me to the wolves and just barehanded, huh? No, no, I'll have something for you. Take my clothes off of them and turn me loose naked into a vulture's hand. No, all that'll happen on that is that after you talk to him, if we can get him back to Puerto Rico over the weekend, you won't see him for a while. All right, okay. Uh, when are you going to get your poverty bill out? <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> oh, no, when, when really? April? Yeah, we should. We're, we're going over now a schedule that we're going to take up with the leadership on things we think they ought to be moving immediately. The two things I want to move on is pay and poverty. Yeah, well, I discussed pay with both Albert and Boggs. And there's a little conflict, as you know, in their view. And the get, a hold of, view. get a hold of this ambassador to Jamaica and ask him if he's going to underwrite this pay bill, and if so, get the hell to work on it. Now, they checked out those Democratic names, you know, on that list that uh, we What's had. They, find? they found each one checked out correct. Well, just tell that, that Bill Doherty, get a hold of him, and tell him that you want him to, to go over this list and see how many they can deliver and let you know in a week. Okay. He's back from Jamaica. He may still be down there. Jamaica's coming up here Monday. He's coming up Monday with Buster Monty. All right, fine. And you better tell Keating that you want Keating and, and Doherty to take over this job for one week and tell you how many they can change before we give them a signal. Yeah, as I said, that list they had last Tuesday morning, the Democratic side of the list checked out uh, every name on it. Uh, Albert talked to and found that the, uh, it was accurate. Each one had reversed his position over the last book. Not enough of them, though, and there's a lot no. of protections may, we may be able to get changed since they haven't got opposition at home. Yeah. We ought to work on that a little bit. Okay. All right. All right.